an incredible, incredible chef. So it is my pleasure to introduce Chef Jesse Cinciofo. <laughs> Once again, Chef Jesse. <laughs> Chef, flower spray. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, well, good afternoon. I would like to welcome everyone to uh, Chef Jesse Rock Up Club. And, uh, well, it is my honor to uh, really um, welcome also Stacy Gabriel, uh, our Miss Universe um, Philippines kind of, um, for, you know, for her, for choosing Chef Jesse to launch her DC um, Legacy ministry. Prison Ministry. You know, I was... I came home la late last night after catering room at my I cannot okay. <laughs> yeah. I would like to uh, okay. When I first heard about um Stacy's uh Stacy legal legacy ministry, I immediately got inspired. In fact, it has been a long time wish for me to do this ministry. Uh, you know, being part of the seven cor 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 corporal works of mercy, this is the only work that I have not done so far, Stacy. Oh. So thank you for inspiring me to do it. Uh, at least, uh, because there are apprehensions on my part, because you know how it is. Uh, when you talk about uh, prison, it's so negative. But, you know, I always believe that people, especially women, deserve a second chance. That is why um, your work is uh, truly amazing. Because you inspire prisoners uh, to have a second life, to, um, to really, um, you know, go on with life. And uh, for that, I am really very supportive. So, um, it is also, um, well, my goodness. <laughs> I personally believe, okay, that, uh, yeah, this, everyone deserves a second chance. Uh, that, um, that will lead to beautiful life transfer transformations, especially among women, regardless of age, uh, social class and beliefs. As long as you believe and then have faith in God, everything will certainly fall into place. Uh, this is the very essence of women empowerment. And I'm proud to say that here at Chef Jesse, I champion that mantra of having women as part of my core leadership. Um, for as long as, you know, you have the talent, you have the passion, and um, you have the power to do whatever you want to do, you are given that chance to grow here at Chef Jesse. So it is um, fitting that um, you are launching this ministry during this International Women's Month. And um, I truly and honestly give you my 100% support. Yeah. So, We will all be together in supporting Stacy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chef Jesse. And we would like to present on behalf of Stacy and her entire team and your support from Attorney Cyrus. Beautiful flowers. Thank you so much. And can we have Stacy and Chef Jesse again for some photos? And again, from Attorney Cyrus and actually all the Ninos and Ninans of Stacy, let's give her some more beautiful flowers. Very much. <laughs> Two incredible women, both embodying passion and purpose. Please, let's give them a warm round of applause. Happy Women's Month. Thank you. 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Chef Jesse. Please give her one more warm round of applause just for the food alone. The food was incredible. The food, the support, there's so many things we really have to thank her for. Absolutely. And, uh, once again, we are here at Chef Jesse Rockwell to hear more about the Daisy Legacy Ministry. So now is the time to officially get into more questions for you all to hear more about the ministry work that Stacy has been doing since you were 14, 14 years old. And it's been the better part of a decade, inspired, of course, by your grandma. I'm sure so many of you have questions, so we're just gonna go ahead and go straight to the Q&A. So, let's do it. First and foremost, I'd like to welcome from Hey Adam G YouTube channel, Mr. Adam Hinato. Hi Stacy. Hello. Congratulations hi. for the launching of your advocacy project called Daisy Legacy Ministry. So I wonder how um, you mentioned about this during your sashing ceremony. How many prisoners, women prisoners from this facility are you helping out with this advocacy? Well, my Lola's ministry first began. Lola Pressy, you you can shout any of your insight whenever um, because Lola Presti was there from the very inception of this ministry and when it started Lola, it was originally just for the Lola that was not allowed so the Lola that was na bilanggo na oh, they na forgot na po sila ng family nila. that was how this ministry began and then it evolved to accommodate 700 senior citizen inmates and they are still the very inmates that we have taken under their under our wing and support to this day 700 700 yes so for how many years already since 2011 so it's been 13 years of ministry now how do you think your lola must be reacting right now stop you're gonna make me cry <laughs> You know, you know what? Growing up, my grandmother used to always tell me, Stacy, never let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. And that's a word directly from scripture. It means always give out of the overflow of your heart. When you give, you give in secret. So I've kept this ministry so close to my chest. I, you know, it's never been on social media. We've kept it within family and friends we have raised funds just within our circle but I realize I have this incredible platform this incredible gift and through this platform hopefully I can touch more hearts and bring more people into this ministry so I'm sure my Lola is looking down at me saying you know kind of embarrassed, like blushing, that I am putting her on a pedestal, right? Because she never wanted to be the center of attention. She, you know, she was loved deeply and widely, but her name was not in the papers. She made an inscription in people's hearts. Her name was never published in any magazine or any newspaper. So there would be an element of, oh my goodness, I'm so jahe, you know, and hakahiya. But I think ultimately the best way to honor her legacy is to expand her life's work. So I hope that she is proud of me. Thank you. Thank you, Stacy. And next, let us hear a question from... Of course, Stacy. Hi. Uh, bringing this kind of advocacy, itong ating impactful na advocacy in Miss Universe Philippines, ano yung mga, of course, 14 years old ka pala, na exposed ka na sa mga problems, uh, inside the correctional. Ano yung recent realization mo or learnings na recent na realization mo about your advocacy, about sa ating uh, mga kababaihan sa correctional? Well, the core realization is that no one is beyond redemption in God's eyes. We don't know what brings people to a life of criminality. We don't know the circumstances through which they were led to those actions. You know, they have done their crime and now they're doing their time. And I don't believe they should be outcasts forever. 
My Lola always taught me to love those who are deemed unlovable, to reach out to those who are marginalized, who are seen as outcasts in society. So at the core of why we do what we do is because we want to bring God's redemptive love to prisoners. We hope to be the light in the darkness of prisons. And at the same time, you know, tying into Women's Month, you know, it, it, it's so timely, right? Not only is it Women's Month, it's also the Holy Week. And this Holy Week, I am reflective of how God has transformed me with his love and how love can conquer all, really, truly. I have seen firsthand the transformation that these women have, have made in their lives. I step into that institution and they are lifting their hands in worship to the Lord, right? And it is the most inspiring and most heartening thing to see. You know, if they can praise, then so can I. I learn so much from them every day, and that is the very lesson that I hope to bring to the universe. Are you excited not to bring this advocacy in Mexico? See, <laughs> see. Sí, sí. So I'm very excited. <laughs> Thank you so much. Luis Portellas, thank God he's not here. <laughs> but, but Sandra's here. Sandra from Colombia is here. Sandra Arasi, everybody. She's an incredible supporter of our ministry. She's our Colombian sister. I, estoy emocionada. Si? ¿Sí? Estoy emocionada. Si, sí, si, sí, si. Sí. <laughs> and also Spanish tutor, as it turns Spanish out. Spanish tutor, yes. Spanish tutor and supporter of Jay-Z Legacy. Um, Thank you so much, or uh, gracias y de nada. Oh, which one is it? <laughs> gracias, Stacy. Um, next up, let's hear a question from Noli from OPMB. Hi, Stacy. I'm Noli. Yes, of okay, course. Okay, my question is, <clears throat> uh, how fulfilling, or, or rather, uh, what prompted you to get involved in this worthy ministry that was spearheaded, spearheaded by your grandmother? What inspired me? Yeah. Well, children do what children see, right? And my whole life, my grandmother modeled this life of selfless giving, giving without expecting anything in return. And even before she started the prison ministry, that has been her MO. You she, she was very much that woman. She was an angel. She was a complete angel. And on her deathbed, when I was 17 years old, ang nag-iisang kabilin-bilinan niya is huwag kakalimutan ang mga lola sa koreksyonal. So how could you not honor that, right? So that is my reason. It is, it is my reason for doing what I do. It is my mother's reason. We are here to honor her legacy, honor her life's work, and make sure that her legacy outlives her. Her story lives on. You know, and um, hopefully, even though my grandmother loved to stay low key and it was, was, was you know, very, um, again, quite, I guess, not secretive, but was very protective of, of what she did, you know? Hopefully, now is the time, now is the season to bring this advocacy to the universe. Hopefully, the Lolas will have more resources at their disposal as well. We can um, uh, uh, provide more med medication and provide daily essentials. That is really why we're here, right? It's much greater than myself, and I hope that the people watching today are touched by this message. Okay, very well said. Follow up na lang. Uh, what uh, personal core value would you like to share uh, sa mga senior uh, inmates na ito para maging mas inspired pa sila at maging better person uh, maging, yun nga, para may inspired sa mga ginagawa nila ng mga projects sa loob <laughs> Well, like I said tuwing pumapasok po ako ng koreksyonal mas ako pa nga po yung nakakakuha ng, uh, ng, ng wisdom sa kanila because they teach me every day to goodness, to be grateful um, they are such pioneers in my life. They have modeled in my life the, um, the power of having an attitude of gratitude. 
What core value can I teach them? Oh my goodness. That, wow, I'm very humbled by that question. I, um, I suppose one that I have embodied is to continue to rise up and to continue to rise above. I've been very open about OCD and anxiety, and I know that Lola's and Conexional, even though they have gone undiagnosed, they too battle their own mental health illnesses. And one thing that I can provide, and one thing that my mother and I, my mother is a certified yoga instructor, so she teaches breath work and mindfulness. One core value that we can teach and we can impart is to be more mindful, to be more present in the moment, and, you know, wherever you are in life, whatever circumstance, even in a prison, you can practice gratitude and mindfulness. Thank you very much, Stacy. And next, let's hear from Christian from the Crown Philippines. Hi, Stacy. Congratulations again to you and your family for this very wondrous uh, performance. Oh, project. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but my question is, of course, uh, your supporters are very much aware of the level of involvement that we have in this project. Um, but for the rest of the Filipino fans, because some may argue whether PT Queens have enough knowledge and expertise on the work of their advocacies. Can you share with us the level of involvement and support that you have had shared in this project? Right, well I always say Miss Universe Philippines is not a journey for one, but a journey for all. The people I am surrounded by make me better. I, have, I, am, I am not an attorney. I am by no means um, proposing that we lobby this to Congress. There is a time and a season for everything. Right now, my main goal is to make sure the Lolas have three square meals a day, make sure they have sanitary napkins, shampoo, conditioner, body soap, medicine, maintenance medicine. If anyone needs cataract surgery, that they can access that. If anyone needs chemotherapy, they can access that. So while, of course, one day I would love to take this advocacy to the next level and perhaps champion and, and an advocate for the grandmothers on the legal system, on the, uh, on the legislative level, Right now, my my one, what is on my heart right now is their well-being. So if anyone is doubting if I can fulfill my role as director, they should, you know, I will ease their mind right now because my family has been very much involved in this for 13 years. And you'll hear from our formerly incarcerated women later. Hopefully they will uh, enlighten you more on what it is exactly that we do on the ground. Thank you so much. And last but not least, let's hear from you. <laughs> Hello, Stacy. I'm Amanda's boy. Oh. So, you have a talk to you? Oh. Um, ano yung malalim na kahulugan ng uh, ng ano, advocacy mo. Uh, like, ano yung values na nabigay nito sa'yo? Ano yung lesson na binigay nila sa'yo sa loob ng uh, ministry? Oh, kuyo! Oh! <laughs> Do you want to join it? Yeah? Well, You know, um, yeah. <laughs> oh, Kuyo, I love you. I hope one day I can bring you all with me to CIW because pag nakita nyo po kung paano magworship ang mga lola, kung paano nila itaas sa mga kamay nila upang um, what is the word, mom? I'm, I'm looking at my mom to to praise. To, of, co of course she's on her phone at this very moment. <laughs> it is the most touching, most powerful thing that I have ever been a part of in my life. And every day they teach me that you can praise no matter your circumstance. And there have been many moments in my life where I, I have asked God, is, is, 
is there a purpose? Is there even meaning to my life? Um, there were moments where I asked him, please don't wake me up. I just don't want to wake up. I am in so much pain. I am so broken. I am so anxious. Every waking hour, I am battling intrusive thoughts. Um, but you know, whenever I, I step foot in CIW, I realize that God's love knows no bounds. And if these women can praise, then so can I. And if they can praise through their circumstance, so can I. So that is the value that I've taken from them. Truly, I know it sounds simple, but once you shift your perspective into one that sees, hopefully, sees God's hand in everything you do, you know, I love this song, um, God is too wise to be mistaken. God is too good to be unkind. So when you don't understand, when you can't see his plan, when you can't trace his hand, trust his heart. And the women at Kodak Chanel have done exactly that. They have trusted the Lord. And I hope that one day, senior citizens, because I think now is the time where they can, in the past, now they can give back by taking care of their grandchildren who are so missing them here in the outside world. Other question. So, your message naman to some, uh, some people na hindi naniniwala sa salitang pagpapatawad at pakikipagkapwa tao. Well, if you are a human being, then you have been forgiven. <laughs> you know, the most universal thing in this world is to have been forgiven. Because, well, if you believe in Jesus like I do, he died on the cross in order to forgive our sins. So if you yourself cannot forgive, then how can you accept the forgiveness of Christ? We are all human and we have all fallen short. And Jesus' love is the only one that can redeem. So if you yourself cannot forgive, I'm sorry, but you put yourself in a position not to access the forgiveness of Jesus. Thank you so much, Stacy. And last but not least, let's hear from Jade from GMA News Online. Okay. And testing, one, two, three. Testing. And karaoke na. So hi, Miss Stacy. Um, so po um, so meron pa tayong stigma sa society natin na kapag po yung mga PDLs um. Ang parang nalabal na po sila na parang worthless to society. And parang niya pagagamitin yung advocacy niyo to empower those women deprived with liberty. Um, this, uh, sa kada lang ano po, um, despite po sa living conditions po nila. Well, definitely, yes. Prisoners are stigmatized in society. And that's why my Her Story, Her Story video was, it, it was, it was my creative, decision to make it light and airy and of course these topics are not light and airy of course we know that these are some heartbreaking heart-wrenching topics but i also wanted to bridge that gap i wanted to show people that we're happy here and we're a community here we have joy in our worship we celebrate with each other we celebrate our womanhood together so i hope that just this video alone shows people that it's not a scary place that it is an accessible place. And these Lolas, they're human. They're human. And they have made mistakes. They have fallen short, just like we have. But I believe they are and not beyond redemption. And I hope na marami pong mapukaw na damdamin upang tulungan ang ating mga Lola na kailangan ng ating kalinga at ng ating alaga. Because I truly believe in giving back to our senior citizens, because one day we will be senior citizens ourselves, you know? And I hope that one day someone will take care of me too. Thank you so much, Stacy. Once again, your director for Daisy Legacy Ministry. Let's give her one more warm round of applause. <laughs> Truly, your grandma is so proud. I know that you said earlier she was a very humble woman, but to see this legacy grow beyond her, and now being passed down to you and your mom, and the women that have inspired you as well, including them. I'm sure she's so incredibly proud of you. So 
I, I know that in the rest of your Miss Universe journey, you are continuing that those values of compassion, those values as well as showing love and kindness to the people around you. And we all couldn't be prouder. Our next Miss Universe Philippines. I know this is a launch for the advocacy, Vera. I couldn't help but get that one in. Um, and no, sorry guys, no sample pasarela today, huh? Before we move forward, I know we're going to hear from some former inmates and people who have been touched by the legacy of Daisy Gabrielle. And to before they get to their message, I want to invite them up here for a photo with Stacy as well as our incredible Chef Jesse. So Chef Jesse, welcome back, and as well Ate Percy and Ate Grace. Who ha whose lives have been touched from the Daisy Legacy Ministry. They are presenting a gift on behalf of the inmates of the Correctional Institution for Women, lovingly crafted by the inmates themselves. Thank you so much. Once again, Ate Percy and Ate Grace. Beautiful. Picture, please. Once again, this is this is a gift lovingly crafted on uh, by the inmates of the Correctional Institution for Women, presented by Ate Percy and Ate Grace, who have been touched by the Daisy Legacy Ministry. We have incredible women here with us today for Women's Month. Transformational leaders in culinary, a, transform a transformational leader and director of the Daisy Legacy, and two incredible women who have shaped their lives through God's love and with the help of Daisy Gabrielle, Stacy Gabrielle, and of course, Stacy's mother. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So well, now we're going to move forward. I know that we're excited to hear more from Stacy herself, and we will be having another round of Q&A, as well as one-on-one -on -one interviews. But before that, as you all know, we are here to launch the Daisy Legacy Ministry to talk about the more than 700 lives, 700 women who have been empowered, not just through God's grace, but by community, by each other and to hear a little bit more about the impact that this has made on her life, I am very pleased to welcome a former inmate of the Correctional Institute for Women. As she has been inspired by Lola Daisy Gabrielle, who was very instrumental in her walk with God, Ate Percy is, has uh, served, um, as a served in the prison for a number of years before being freed in 2022. And one of her first acts was to go to Araneta City and see Stacy Gabriel on the final night of Bini Bini Filipinas. One of her first acts out of prison. Truly, the love that Stacy and her family has shown. We are so excited to see you give that love back to the prisoners that you are now helping them and you are continuing a legacy alongside the women here today. So without further ado, Please join me in welcoming Ate Percy. A blessed afternoon to say. Yo, Mia. 2008, oh, I remember. Mommy Daisy, and for your information, oh, meron po siyang nickname. Ang tawag po namin sa kanya ay Miss Delight. Dalaw na po siya. In 2010 po, naging kwan po siya sa parang naging burden po niya yung nakikita niyang mga lola. Dalaw lang po siya nakita niya may nagdadalawan, nagyayakapan, Tapos umiiyak. Um, pero 
Bago ko po itinuit kwento ko, may attorney po dito. Ay, attorney. I was incarcerated po for 25 years. In correction. Nakalabas lang po ako noong September 29, 2021. By the grace of God. Tulad po na sinabi ni Stacy, wala po kami ibang kinakapitan kundi ang Panginoon. Sorry to say this, attorney. Napakalupit ng batas ng tao. So, nung ka po yung napunta sa correctional, ang pinakamalungkot po namin, yumalayo kami sa aming pamilya. Lalo na po yung mga lola doon. Hindi po namin halap ko anong gagawin namin. And so happened, the year passed by. Ito nga po si Mami Daisy. Naging manggagawa po namin. And yung pong mga taon, mga buwan, parang lumipas po sa amin kasi ang dala po ng family Gabriel is hindi po yung material things eh. Yung happiness na hindi po namin na, ah, hindi po namin mararamdaman kasi malayo po yung pamilya namin eh. Si Stacy, at the age of 14, hindi siya takot na lumapit. They have the, the mga lolas, everything. Pag sinabi ni Stacy, That time po, sa mga ganung bagay, hindi po namin naramdaman na kami nakalimutan ng lipunan. Ang lola po niya, siguro ngayon lang po nila malalaman, pag nag-depross po sila ng rep, dinadala po niyang lahat, lahat yung ulam doon sa correctional. Tatawagin ako sa control gate, dear. Baka ma-expired na yan. Within 10 minutes, kainin na ninyo yan. Ganun po yung lola niya. At yung po, nung ma-involve na rin po, si na Ma'am Christine, nagdadala po sila ng mga mga artista na nakakapagpasaya po sa amin. Tulad po kanina, ha? Sorry to say this, may narinig ako doon sa kwan ng GMA na sabi nga, pag mga galing sa correctional o galing sa tulungan, medyo mahirap. But in your behalf, sa aming pong pagbabagong buhay, except for our family, Makakamugod po kami kung kami po yung inyong tatanggap eh. Kasi yung iba pag sinabing galing sa kulungan, hindi maganda yung kwan nila. Tama ba yung sinabi ni Mrs. Stacy, hindi po lahat ng nakulong ay may kasalanan. And the other question, how did you forgive? Si Lord na nakapagpatawad eh. Minsan nga yung tao, kinulong mo na nga kami. Pero pag nakita mo pa kami, parang gusto mo na naman kami pakulong. So the legacy of family Gabriel, tumakbo po ng ilang taon, at yung pong mga walang dalaw, hindi po nila naramdaman yung lungkot. Naging masaya po kami hanggang kami po ay lumabas. And up to now, this is real talk. Ang pwede ko lang pong iambag ni Ms. Stacy is lagi po siyang isama sa panalamin. At yun po ang natutunan namin. And sa inyo pong lahat na naririto, especially po kay Ma'am Christine, na nung mawala po yung mother niya, nakala namin wala na eh. Pero pinagpatuloy po nilang pamilya. 
Ups and down po na buhay ng mga inmates sa correctional, kabahagi po sila. Up to now. Up to now. At napakabuti po ng Panginoon, ngayon nga po eh, sabi niya po, kita, ganun-ganun na. I was so excited. Pero salamat po sa lahat. At total may attorney dito. At, attorney! Yung mga lola, tulungan po natin. Wala na pong magagawang kasalanan yung mga lola. Marami po doon na overstay na po. Pero nobody's help. Pinapasaya na lang po ng family Gabriel para makalimutan nila yung kanilang uh, pinagdadaanan. I hope someday, I hope someday po, lahat po nang naririto, we invite you in correctional institution for women. Not the material things, pero I hope someday, when you have problem, you can tell them na pray for me. Paglabas mo ng pintuan, magaan na magaan na yung kalooban mo. And, burden ko po talaga mga lola kasi lola na rin po ako eh. And, thank you, thank you talaga. And I hope, sasama-sama po natin panalangin yung advocacy ni Miss Stacy na for the first time in beauty pageant. Sabi nga ng iba, pag nababasa ko yun, ano yung prison ministry, what's that? Diba? Hindi nila alam. Sabi nga ng iba mga candidate, ang advocacy nila sa mga street children. Bakit marami street children? Tinanong nyo ba kung nasa ng nanay nila? Ang nanay nila nandun sa kulungan. Diba? Kaya this advocacy prison ministry, Eh, hindi ko tinataas dahil ako'y galing doon. Pero, yung puso ng tao na nagtatag nito, yung puso ng lola niya na pinamanan sa kanila, nasa, napakasarap pakinggan, ano po? Pero, this moment, ako pa ay humingi ng inyong tulo. Hindi naman po kaya ng Family Gabriel, eh. Sabi nga ni Stacy kanina, 700, no. It's more than 4,000. And the one-third na naroon ay walang dalaw. Thank you po sa sabon, sa batas, kay Ma'am Christina. Meron po siya mga sponsor na monthly, binibigyan kami ng gatas. Marami po salamat. And hopefully, Ito na po yung simula. Ito na po yung simula. Maraming maraming salamat pa and hope sama-sama po tayo sa legacy ni Stacey Gabriel. Thank you po. God bless po sa lahat. Thank you so much, Ate Percy. As I said earlier, Ate Percy is a former inmate and now she is a living testament to what just some love and compassion can accomplish. She not only began um, began working with the Daisy Legacy Ministry when it started in 2011, she later on became a squad leader and actually led prayer meetings herself. So within the, within the prison, she also became a testament to God's love and we are very grateful for her presence here today. Something that Stacy mentioned earlier is that the Daisy Legacy Ministry aims to help women find solace and community with each other. Those who were once confined by prison bars are now liberated through faith. And we are so blessed to not only have Ate Percy, but another person who is an example of God's amazing grace. And on that note, it is my pleasure to introduce Ate Grace. Uh, 
yung prayer namin na magkaroon ng ministry para sa mga senior citizen, para sa mga nila, sila po yung katugunan nyo. Ang Lord talaga ang talagang huli po sa mga puso ng mga Gabriel family. Namit ko po sila nung masalayan na din na lumayan na din si Ate Presi. Yung sinama ko na Ate Presi para madalangin kay Stacy nung binibili ng Pilipinas. Talagang andun lang ako sa isang sulong para kay Stacy para sa prayer. Kaya yung time na talagang namit ko si Stacy, sabi ko, talagang pumapasok ba yan ang correction na? Pero nakita ko talaga yung heart ni Stacy na kasi pag niyayakap na yung mga senior yung mga tatanda, pinitunan ko yung expression ng heart ni. Talagang iba yung pagmamahal talaga niya sa mga lola namin doon. Iba yung yakap niya, iba yung halik niya. Yung kahit kalikan siya ng mga lola doon, kahit mga bilang, hindi siya nagbibili. Hindi siya nagkaganon, hindi siya nagkaganyan, hindi siya nag-alcohol. Kaya sabi ko, praise God talaga, iba talaga yung heart talaga ni Stacy. Kaya nagpapasalamat ako sa Panginoon na talaga sa Gabriel Family na nagkaroon ng ministry para sa mga sinong sa Pisen na naging masaya po sila ng Lindon. May nakabukod na po mga blessings sa kanila, mga kahatas, mga padala nila. Miss Ano, ni Miss Is Ano, ni Miss... Christine. Christine. Ang talaga yung mga first time nila nakatikin ng mga blessings na pinapadala nila kasi hindi na ilalala na yung mga walang dalaw doon. Naranasan pa din talaga doon yung mga walang dalaw doon na talaga kawawa talaga sila. Pero in behalf of God, we are family. Nakalanas na din po ng kasiyahan sa puso ang mga senior citizen namin doon. Thank you, thank you Lord sa buhay ng mga God, we are family. Thank you so much, Ate Grace. We are so, so blessed by your presence here today. We are near the end of our program, but don't worry, everyone's going to get a chance to do one-on-one -on -one interviews with Stacy to hear more about the legacy that Daisy Gabrielle left behind and truly the work that they are doing with Daisy Legacy Ministry. But also to hear more about it, or to see more rather, you can now go to Stacy's new website. I love my website, Nasha. <laughs> For those of you who are watching live right now, go ahead and go straight to that website. It's www.stacygabrielle.com.ph. That's once again, that's www.stacygabrielle.com. .ph officially launched and we would also like to thank the people that made that possible, that made the website possible. Our website developers, who Stacy I know is going to be mentioning in a bit, uh, but also every one of you who have, come, who have come here today, I know Stacy has her warm words of thanks and gratitude, so again, without further ado, let me, may I please bring back the director of Daisy Legacy Ministry, your Miss Universe Philippines Canada, Stacy Gabriel. I will feel the heart and the love that is poured into these crafts, and I hope you will take it with you in the coming weeks, the coming months, the coming years, because everyone deserves redemption, everyone deserves love.